Hey guys, Hello Bella here. In this video, I'm going to be going over a tool in the Merch Informer uh, website that allows you to look at trending designs, designs that are starting to sell with Merch by Amazon. I am pretty new to this tool, so I'm going to be exploring it with you guys, but I think that it's really a really interesting thing that I have come across. Um, I do have a 20% off code that Merch Informer has given me, so if you want to get 20% off of your subscription, just use the code Hello Bella. It's all one word, all caps, Hella Bella to get 20% off. Um, we can look at my sales for the last couple of days. You can see I've got $389 in sales on the 9th and then $397 yesterday, which was the 10th. And today's the 11th. So far, I've sold $73.58, which is not bad because it's only 10.30 a.m. I've already uploaded 81 shirts today, but one of the tools that I'm using today is uh, what's called movers and shakers. So it's kind of telling you what is becoming popular and it's probably easier to show you than to try and tell you. So I'll hop on over here and we can take a look at that. So on Merch Informer, you're going to see a ton of tools and, you know, it's a lot to explain. So I'm really just going to look at this one today. Um, if you go under Merch Trend Hunter and then Movers and Shakers, that's the page that we're going to be looking at today. So you have a lot of options for this. You can sort by daily, weekly, monthly, um, and you can search um, through different types of shirts. If you only want to look at t-shirts, you can do that. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be showing you today's daily um, sales and kind of looking at things that are trending. What you're going to see here is they show you the shirt. Uh, they show you the amount that the shirt has gone up in rank. And you'll see here this, this purple line basically means the sales rank got much better on uh, November 10th. So basically it went from having a sales rank of uh, around 2 million to dropping down to 311,000. So the shirt has started to sell. Um, it will also tell you the estimated sales that it's making. See, this just says one estimated sale. Um, you have a link so you can actually go click on the shirt to view it on Amazon. But what I use this for is really to kind of get ideas on trends that are coming up. You know, it goes without saying, but you don't want to use this to just completely copy someone. Um, you kind of can use it to get ideas in different niches and different categories and Honestly, when I use it, I wound up learning about things that I wasn't aware of before. Um, I, I looked at this Black Lives Matter uh, Million Man March, and I didn't know anything about a Million Man March, so that is something. Um, if you take a look at these um, nutrition fact shirts here, this says pound cake. We're going to see a lot of these when it comes to Thanksgiving and Christmas. You might have seen some that say leftovers or pumpkin pie or um, you know casserole or whatever. So those are really popular right now. I like the way that this person pairs a graphic with it because a lot of them are just a certain color and they don't have a graphic so that one looks a lot better than the ones that I have seen. This says Pappy Claws. One thing that I'll tell you on this is this is uh, this pattern right here, this red and black is sometimes referred to as buffalo. Um, I know kind of some people call it plaid, but what it's called is buffalo. And um, it's, it's a really popular pattern for Christmas. A lot of women like it. And um, it's just a really good holiday pattern. So if you can find a way to incorporate that in, you can add uh, buffalo into your title. Um, here we see this guy is officially 10 years old. Um, I, a little surprised by this one, to be honest with you, because um, it's, it's really overdone, um, but for whatever reason, it did have a spike. Um, this one says, I like coffee, my doggo, Argentino, and maybe three people. So this is really specific, and it looks like it had a um, spike all the way down to 245000 for rank, and looks like the price point, they, they did raise their price from $16.99 up to uh, $17.98, and you'll see this with a lot of sellers. They wait until they're... Um, shirt has sold a couple of times in order to raise the price and that's the same thing that I do I kind of wait a little while that way that I don't have um, you know a super high price shirt and no sales um, this one says I'm with potato <laughs> I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean but again um, it is selling and the purpose of this tool is really to kind of help you see what has started to sell you might be able to catch on to a new trend before it takes off you really want to be early and first to market when it comes to merch by Amazon um, when I sold my shirt that gave me my $1,000 day. That was the case for me. I had just become the first one to put that shirt up. And now when you actually type in that shirt phrase, um, mine is still on the first page of search results.
results and it actually says like Amazon's choice. So I think that it's definitely getting a bump in the search results just for being the first. So being first to market is super, super important. So this tool um, will show you a lot of different things, but this is kind of one feature of Merch Informer. And like I said, I'm pretty new to Merch Informer, but I think that it's a really cool tool to use, if, especially if you're like me and you, you know, you, you design every day, you eventually kind of get to the point where you're like, okay, what am I going to make today? Um, you know, right now I'm trying to shoot for a hundred uploads a day and you know, it's not easy to come up with fresh and new content all the time. So this is just kind of helpful. Um, a lot of these things have been done to death. So I would recommend you, uh, doing your own research when it comes to uh, making your shirts go ahead and what I would like to do if I see something over here that I like I like to go over to Amazon and type in the phrase and see how many results pop up for that particular phrase because you know if, if we're gonna be in a sea of three or four hundred shirts it's really not worth it to me this is um, kind of interesting this m88 uh, tank shirt here it's very very simple it's just a picture and a um, three letters of text and looks like it jumped uh, on November 10th as well. And they've got this priced high, um, 1998. And um, yeah, it says M88 tank recovery vehicle t-shirt. And um, you can also look at different features if they have written anything that is interesting and you can look at their description. Looks like they don't even have a description on that one. So that's not a very good example. Um, and then it also gives you the ASINs. You can actually track ASINs with uh, this Merch Informer tool. You can copy and paste that and track that shirt if you want to keep a watch on it and see how it goes. Um, here is a really simple design. It's just a Fennec Fox. But hey, if you didn't know about Fennec Foxes, that's a whole new um, niche for you to explore. It's F-E-N-N-E-C, Fennec Fox. And there's just a cute little fox and it's kind of an interesting thing. And that's what I mean by using this tool. You can kind of see different ones. Um, this is just a graphic as well. No text. It says Lumberjack Bigfoot Chainsaw Sasquatch Logger Funny Gift T-shirt. So um, a lot of keywords in here that are long tail keywords like funny gift um, and we've got lumberjack and Sasquatch. Those are all things that people will type in by themselves, but together it just becomes, you know, a really good uh, shirt to pop up in the search results. Over here, you've got like a, looks like a powerlifting shirt. Uh, let's see what they use. Yeah, weightlifting, lifting, powerlifting, bodybuilding, heartbeat shirt. So notice how they used all those different terms because those are all different search terms. Weightlifting, lifting, powerlifting, bodybuilding. So four different search terms that they, they are able to achieve with one one shirt and you know one thing that I feel like people fail to think about is you can have the best shirt design ever but if you don't have the keywords that people are going to type in to find it it's really kind of pointless to upload it um, if you're not familiar with keywords you really should just take the time to explore keywords and you can always go on pages like this and look at like popular shirts and even if you don't have merch informer you can still go to Amazon and go and look at the popular shirts and kind of look at how they structure their keywords you're going to notice that most people use the most relevant keywords they can find um, here we have another one of those shirts I'm just confused by this of people who just put a picture up and no text um, it says electronics circuit product gift for nerds geeks programmers so um, obviously I'm apparently not that big of a nerd because I don't know what this is um, but whatever it's selling you know so that's the thing if you don't know what something is you can just do a Google search you can educate yourself pretty quickly and then go over and make a shirt one thing I would caution you against is to you know always use the trademark checker there is actually a trademark checker over here on the left that you can use or if you have the productor Chrome extension whenever you are uploading a shirt you'll see the trademark checker so Connor Whisper, I don't say Connor, well, Southern people can't say this word, Connor, Con, Connor. Um, anyways, <laughs> Whisperer, it's a bird whisperer basically, but it's a specific bird. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing people that go in to target something super specific. So it's not bird whisperer, it's Connor Whisperer. I still can't say it, but whatever. Um, but this one, you, you can see here, it had a 3.5 million rank and then it sold and it went to 367,000 and then looks like it didn't sell for a while. So it went back up to 2.7 million and it looks like it's selling again at 336. So you can see over time, the shirt is not super, super popular, but it has grown in relevancy. And that's going to give it, you know, a boost when it comes to staying long term on the first page of search results. Um, one of the things that you can focus on if you um, 
you know, have a lot of slots is just focus on the future. Think about, um, you know, and things that are going to come up in advance and holidays. And, you know, right now we're in November, uh, but it's not a bad idea to be thinking about New Year's and St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day. These are all things that are going to come before we know it. Um, you know, time flies pretty fast these days and it feels like 2020 has <laughs> gone by pretty fast for me. Honestly, it's been a, it's been a really crazy year, but also looking back on it, I'm like, wow, this is probably one of the most memorable years of my entire life. Um, but anyways, we'll go scroll down a little bit more and see what else we can find. I pooped today. Wow, that is really something. Um, so it's a unicorn dabbing, and it says I pooped today. So they took the unicorn, the dab, and the I pooped today, put it all together into one weird conglomerate, and created this shirt. So that is another example. This one says, why be a princess when you can be a pirate? And it's got, like, the sunset thing and the blackout of the pirate here. Um, looks like this is another case where this um, sold on the 12th and then didn't sell again for a while and then it dipped again on the 10th. So, you know, that shirt has some uh, some some sales history under its belt. I heart my grandpa. Um, that's a really weird but very, um, very simple design, I guess. Um, Scrolling down a little bit more, this says be here now. Um, I don't know what kind of symbol this is, but it kind of looks like the Ohm symbol. Um, looks like a yoga or something. Let's kind of see what kind of, they used yoga meditator, be here now, black text t-shirt. So the keywords on this are not very good, um, but this, the price is low, it's $14.99. Um, let's flip to the next page really quick. I wanted to kind of show you guys uh, a little bit about what this tool can do. And again, you can get 20% off if you use my code. So um, that's something to think about. Melanated MSW graduate. If you graduate, if you look at melanated shirts they're very very popular right now um, but i would be careful with the msw graduate stuff and any kind of uh, words that you, you're not really sure about just err on the side of caution but that's i think that's a pretty cool design looks like that is uh ranking 475,000 right now they use the tag black queen msw social work grads masters graduation um, here we have just a girl who loves sloths. I feel like this has been done to death, but it looks like they have a kind of a fresh and new sloth graphic. Um, not something I really love, but I don't really like this color scheme. But, uh, you know, obviously another point that I want to make, it doesn't matter what I like. It matters what the customer likes. So, um, you know, it's, it's not up to us to decide what is a cool shirt or what's a trend. It's literally just up to us to to go after what is trending and kind of go and see what we can do with that. And what I would do with this, I would just try to improve it. You know, you don't want to have have to reinvent the wheel but I would find a better graphic I would do different color schemes and maybe even put that on a different color shirt but yeah that's kind of my take on that over here we have this this one that says rescue is my favorite breed and this one is you know it's kind of to me it's it's not really a difficult design to make so you could probably replicate it with a different dog graphic you know if you have a different dog um, thing you could simply do it in a different uh, breed of dog and that'd be another way to do it Scrolling down here, uh, we got a Christmas shirt. It says, being my sibling is really the only gift you need. Uh, that's pretty funny. I don't really care for that color font on that black shirt. I probably would have put this in white, especially because it looks like maybe there's some snow or something around it. But yeah, you can see this this phrase. You could go ahead and type this in to Amazon and see what all your competition looks like and go from there. Uh, this looks like a, what is that called? A platypus? A platypus. Wow. I've seen it all now. Um, a platypus Christmas shirt. A um, little odd. Uh, I can't even tell what this one over here says with this tiger. Let me scroll down. Wild jaguar leopard print cheetah. Okay. Well, it just says wild. Um, obviously, I couldn't see that, so I don't know if the customer really can, but the graphic is not bad, the cheetah or the jaguar graphic, so that might have been what got it some initial sales. Um, one other thing to note is if you see like brands and stuff come up on this page, you cannot obviously replicate that like Marvel, um, Disney or anything like that. Just ignore those um, and, and, you know, that won't get you in trouble. Scary siren head horror shirt. So this is a weird siren thing. And it just says siren head. Like to me, it looks awful. But once again, you know, it doesn't really matter. I've said this in previous videos, but the, <laughs> the customer does not have as high expectations as we think they do sometimes. So kind of just keep that in mind. Here is an armadillo on a starry night background. That's kind of cool. I like that they mixed starry night with um, the armadillo. Um, this is just a little pocket tee with what looks like a sea otter in it. So that's interesting. 
feeling stabby today. Um, this looks like probably a nurse uh, shirt. Um, it says, oh, phlebotomist, stabby, phlebotomy. I would be careful with the word stabby because I feel like I've used this before and I feel like I got rejected. But, you know, a lot of this just depends on, um, you know, how the shirt gets reviewed. I have gotten things rejected in the past that went through in, 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 you know, in other instances. So just be careful with that. I would probably see how many others were up and just remain cautious with it. Um, midwife at your cervix. I think this is a great niche to get into, the midwife and doula niche. Um, anything that is kind of a new age. And, I, you know, I actually heard that a lot more people were having their babies at home because of the COVID pandemic, because, you know, we're not really allowed to have um, a lot of family in the hospital. So some people are choosing to have their babies at home. So that might be a good niche to go into in the year 2021. I like the way they did a pun, midwife at your cervix instead of service. Um, that's kind of a cool one. This is what I mean with say Disney stuff. Um, this is Disney, so you're not going to be able to use that at all. This is a Pixar thing. Um, oh, here we have some little um, little dolls. Uh, Russian. Look at this keyword that they use, guys. I can't even say this. M A T R Y Metrola Babushka. I can say that one. Um, <laughs> anyways, nesting dolls is what they're called, and they're those little dolls that like go inside of each other. So that's kind of cool that they they have a shirt with those. Um, anyways, I don't want to bore you to death, but I wanted to show you this tool. Um, we could go over this all day long, but if you um if you don't have Merch Informer, I think they have like a ten dollar version. Here's the pricing structure. They have a ten dollar version that's um a really newbie version, and then they have a um. The professional version is um, fifty or forty nine ninety nine, and uh, uh, the uh, other one is fifty nine ninety nine. If you get the six months, I think that's how it's uh, forty nine ninety nine. But anyways, I get twenty percent off all of those. So if you do want to invest in your merch by Amazon business, um, one of the things that's kind of cool about it is it lets you track keywords, um, trade trademarks, uh, products, and uh, of course it has all of these different features where you can look into uh, your competition. And that's probably the most useful thing, honestly, is just being able to type in things to see your competition. I love this one, the little ghost that says over this boo sheet. Um, that's a Halloween design, but obviously it's still selling because it just dropped. So um, that's kind of funny. Um, you know, one of the things that you can really think about with your Merch by Amazon business is it's not about like having the best design ever. It's really about creating the most designs for your portfolio that will create consistent sales. Um, that's one thing that I've noticed, you know, you can have a really hot seller, but if the seller, you know, if that particular item for you stopped selling all of a sudden, and that was the bulk of your income, you know, you're going to be in trouble when it comes to, um, you know, getting new income. So even if just focusing on a shirt that sells once a month, that is still something that is useful. Some of my best things that, um, that are in my portfolio are evergreen shirts that might only sell, um, five times a month or six times a month, but they make me a consistent revenue. You know, if something can make you 20 or $30 a month consistently, that is much better than something that is inconsistent in my opinion. Um, cause we can, we can chase the trends and we can do, we can even go on these tools and create things, but that's really all we're doing is we're chasing something. So you know, that's my bit of advice for you today. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. I did want to pop through this tool and kind of show you because I know a lot of you don't really have access to it if you don't have the tool, but I do think it's worth it to check it out. If you are interested, again, you can use my code HellaBella and get 20% off and I'll leave a link to it in the description in the comments below so you can check it out. But that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you have a great November and your sales are good.